Good morning, folks. Brother Cross here, BJC Outdoors. Hey, we're down on Tennessee River this morning. Gonna do a little dragging first thing. Uh, gonna drop two off the side. Uh, we'll skip Jack Kids and I'm gonna drag two out the back on planter boards uh, with body chunks on them. Uh, this time of year, man, uh, you know, we're kind of late postponed. Uh, covering water, man, that's the best thing to do, you know, if you wanna find some fish. And you know, you can pick up some quality fish doing that too. Uh, last time I was out, I uh, had a terrible trip, man. It was in the morning time, the bugs just kind of took over my boat and uh, took all my lighting away so I didn't stay here very long. But two weeks prior to that, man, I, the suspended bite was on fire. But we was in the po we was in the early postpone then. Uh, and I think that bite's probably fizzled out by now. Uh, not 100%, but, but we're gonna cover some water this morning. Uh, got a pretty pretty stout wind hit me in the side. Uh, it's supposed to be blowing from that way. And of course we're on Wheeler Lake, the Bermuda Triangle deal out here is coming from that way. So it's just one of the deals. But we're gonna drag up through here. Uh, we're starting out in about 30 foot of water. Uh, probably gonna stay in a 25, 30 foot range. And uh, cause I know these fish, you know, they're back out in the main channel. So we're gonna drag up through here and see. Uh, Y'all stay tuned. Using no cat stomper this morning, y'all. Gonna try to put a foot in one's mouth. <laughs> I'll tell y'all a story behind this little rig here shortly. Oh, uh, it's one of my favorite favorite rigs to use. We are uh, definitely fighting the wind today. It's coming across the river out of the south southeast, and it's supposed to be two to four mile an hour all morning up to two o'clock out of the northwest it's always something going on here on this this part of the lake it's like it's it's like it's cursed man like i said it's, it seems like it's something like the bermuda triangle something's always going on the, the weather the weatherman predicts the wind i mean at my house it's blowing out of the northwest but you get down here on on wheeler lake it's always blowing the totally opposite of what they say Got a good amount right here, folks. <laughs> that didn't take long. I didn't even get to sit down good to get my. I was trying to get my boat situated, straighten out because the wind cut me in the side. Feels like a pretty good fish. Let's try to get this one up again. Hopefully he'll come in on this side. I think I'm gonna spotlight right here for a second. We are pulling against some current. He don't feel like a real big fish, but we'll dang sure take him to start with. He ain't come he didn't come up back there though. He ain't too big. He hit like a mongo. <laughs> they hungry this time of year. If you, can, if you can find them, man, they'll eat. Yeah, that's a good blue right there. He ain't no, like I said, he ain't no get in here. <laughs> he 
he didn't give me time to do nothing. It's just fine. I'll take it, man. I'll take one first thing. It's very hard to drag over here in this this area. Hey, hey you, you ain't got that stupid now. You could have done all that in the water. Now you sit still for a minute. Hey, hey, hey. Just calm down, you know. I'm sure you heard I don't keep fish, so you ain't gotta be such a mean one. Here we go, folks. Nice fish to start with there. Short, stocky, man. Fat, fat rascal. Eating all these bugs, man. And all this, all this fry is done hatched out. Everything's done pretty much spawned out this time for us to crappie, bass, bluegill, everything's catfish, they got, I mean it's fry, all kind of fry here from the east where you usually catch uh, skinny fish right now but like I said we're about we're about two weeks two and a half to three weeks past the the start of the post spawn so they've had plenty of time to fatten back up oh there we go oh. they eating this morning folks man he needs to quit, he needs to quit running toward me so I can get this reel up. <laughs> I believe that's gonna be a little better right there. I don't know how much better. Yeah, he's digging. He is digging. Get my dad up here while I can. <laughs> Come on, big boy. I moved that suspended line because he would have got all in it. Come on, big boy. Come on, come on, come on. Don't get in that motor. Don't get in that motor. You gotta let them do their thing. You can't horse them. I didn't cut the trolling motor off on this one. That's the only difference, but he's just sitting right there. I can't pull him up. I ain't even seen him yet. I like to at least see him, you know? In case things go bad, you can at least have a, a fishing story with a, a visual. <sighs> you 
both of these fish hit chunks. I only got heads on the side. I mean, we ain't been out here 10 minutes. If I, if I keep hitting them chunks, I'm fixing to. Oh, yeah. Woo wee. <laughs> Good fish right there. Come on now. Come on now. I think that sucker went straight back to the bottom. It's just straight down right there, folks. Can't do nothing. Nothing with him. We're on his terms. Oh, there goes another one. Now I'm in trouble. I ain't even gonna mess with that one. I mean, hopefully it'll stay hooked up if it gets on there, but I can't, I can't take a chance on losing one like this. why we do it folks come on baby come on baby man <laughs> I ain't seen the whole fish I only seen half of it come on baby come on in here come on in here <clears throat> yeah that's a good one right there folks that is a good one Mm. Wait. I'm gonna have to spot light right here with this one. Cause I can't I can't be uh trying to do all this and then get another big one on. Yep, that's a good fish right there, folks. Oh, man. Nah, like, oh, my God. That's like a heavy right there. Yeah, I like you want a fish. <laughs> man. No wonder. <sighs> Thank you, Lord. Hmm. That's a big old rascal right there, folks. That's why, that's why I couldn't do much with it. That is a big old solid fish right there. She's wore out too, she's breathing about as hard as I am. I hope I picked that fish up. Folks, there's a good fish right there. Big old fat mama. That big old head. <laughs> old, old fish right there, folks. And the kind you want to take care of. She sure got a bite on my hand. Well, I'm going to get her back, man. I don't want to stress her out no more. Oh, girl, you got to let go of my finger. You got to let go of my finger. Oh, you got to let go of my finger. You got to let go. There you go. Don't y'all look right there, folks. That's a big old girl. Alright, you be nice to me. Oh, God. There you go, man. <laughs> man, them suckers right there, they have got a bite on them. I don't know if that's her blood or mine. <laughs> Woo. You know that fish was hard to get up. But I'm kind of glad. And 
you know, if you get a big one on like it, I know everybody's anxious to get them in because things can go wrong and usually if it's going to go wrong, it'll go wrong on a big one. But you got to let them do the thing, man. She blowed a big old patch of bubbles out. Oh. When she, the last time she come up and see if I had a, oh. Uh, just tried the horse on up, which you really wouldn't know what to do that no way. Not that big. Oh. If I tried the horse on up, I would have had to work on her. Now, no. Uh, I just would have kept her out of the water longer. And uh, like I said, you gotta give them, give them time when it's that big. Well, let's see if we can get another one, man. It started off hot. Maybe it'll stay that way. <laughs> That's why I don't weigh them, folks, when they that fish that big. Oh, I'd rather not know than a, than a hurt one. Oh. It just stretched them out, man, long, especially, especially this time of year, man. It's 79 degrees this morning. You know, I'm sweating under this hoodie. I'm fixing to get it off. The only reason I got it on is because it's a little bit of mist and rain, and that boat ride was a little chilly. Hold on right here. Little young guy right here. I didn't even hear it. I keep these bait clickers on. No way if I ain't paying attention, I don't have to just sit there and stare at my rods. That is a Channel cat or a flathead one. Channel cat. Pretty decent one too. For a channel, I think I can't tell. No, nah, he's a big one. He's a big headed channel for sure. If you, you ain't going nowhere, boy. You you hooked up in the bottom lip with a. Constantly, you ain't going nowhere. Hey, 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 man, come on now. That's a old postponed channel right there. That looks like an old fish, man. He got a big old head on him. Pretty good channel. They fight when I get that side and bigger. Oh, what's going on right here, folks? Mm. That goker there took off like a rocket. Decent fish. It's hard to tell. Now let me roll this one up. We finally got one on the side of the net, so. Good fish right there. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a real good one. Another big fish. She ain't as big as that old Mongo, but she's a good one. Come on 
in here, big girl. Mm-hmm. Good fish. <laughs> Got another catfish boat right over here close to me. But it ain't no hiding it from them seeing me, but If they hit it right and get it inside that mouth, they ain't going nowhere. Tell you what, them things are so slimy this time of year. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, man. Come on now, you gonna give her a spot away. They may not be so nice to you. They may want to take you home. All right, folks. This girl right here is mean. Our boy, he ain't no girl. He's a female. Blue. He may show it to me. Our old post bomb blue. Well, all right. Let's get him back. Thank you, boy. drift sock may have to throw out two of them try to keep the boat straight that wind it finally turned to the direction that it's supposed to blow but of course I'm set up in a different area on a different wind so I won't try to put these out I'm gonna start with one kick it off this left corner back here and maybe to pull it around where it needs to this planter board behind the boat and it should be over there like it was earlier but the wind was blowing off the earlier and I was able to correct it but of course when I come back up the river this this time it's not the same if you're gonna do this kind of stuff you better have some drift socks <laughs> they'll definitely save you trip you can see now it's pulling the boat around that away like it's supposed to be I've had people to ask me why I use such small drift socks. Well, you use a big one, you know, you have to have it in the middle. Oh, uh, and it's easier for me if, you know, if I get a fish on back here, I can grab a hold of that little one and just pull it in. You know, it ain't no, it's not like I'm pulling in, you know, a 36 inch one or something like that. And them small ones work fine for my boat, you know. I think I'm fixing to pull, pull them in. I got a spot right up here I want to suspend. Oh. Uh, before it gets too rough. You know, it don't always change and turn at the time that they say it will. Oh, it's about about an hour late from turning. So, and see, I'm set up over here to fish the wind that was out here this morning. So now I gotta regroup to, to try to fish this wind. Oh, uh, at least we got us a couple couple good fish out from, out from here. Like I said, I know they was here, but I don't get to fish this area much. One thing, it's so much pressure on it. And I just got little key areas out here that I run through, you know, uh, and I can't fish it on the weekend, you know. Uh, there's too many people over here. There's a lot of people, a lot of pressure on it. But uh, we're going to drag another, probably another 100 yards, and then I'm fixing to roll them in. I'm fixing to go right, right over here and suspend in a, in a deep hole. I'm going to drop these two suspended down right here. I may throw two out the back if we, uh, if we sit still enough. 
I don't like this boat slap, but we're in 30 foot of water. That ought to be, that ought to be all right. If there's any fish here. Like I said, there may not be nothing here. I'm gonna try it though. All right, folks, while we're sitting here, I want to show y'all show a little something here. It's what these rigs that I've come up with I started using. Uh, called a cat stump. I've been using these for a while. I had some people to ask me why. You know, uh, I got some without a rattle. Got some with a rattle. They even got a bigger size if you want to drag a bigger piece of bait, half a skipjack. You know, heck, if you want to drag a whole skipjack, get you, use your own, use your own crop, use your wife's crop, you know, whatever, it don't make no difference. Uh, but anyway, uh, how these things came about. Uh, years ago, me and my wife, uh, we had some friends that lived down the river, which ain't too far from here. And uh, we, had, we had five girls, man. Uh, and they all were three or four years apart. And uh, we had a couple, you know, it was real small. But anyway, we was down there one summer and we was hanging out, you know, grilling some hamburgers and the kids were down there on the pier fishing and stuff. He had a little outing area right there on the edge of the water. And uh, we were standing up there cooking hamburgers. And uh, a couple of our girls, they was down there fishing and we had couple that was small you know they just they wasn't old enough to fish they barely could barely could talk but uh that, we set them down on the side of that dock we had them a little little life jacket on you know in case they fell in and uh, they put their feet in the water and dang on their feet uh, we're sitting there man one of my daughters started just screaming and uh we took off over there and check her out see what's going on well, we thought she got wolf stung or snake bit. We didn't really know. She had her feet in the water. Thought a wolf might come out from under the dock and stung her or something. So, uh, she was all right. You know, she she quit crying. Couldn't find nothing wrong with her. She she wasn't old enough to tell us. And uh, so we started back, you know, cooking the water. Every about 15 minutes later, my daughter started screaming. I'm talking about the top of her lungs, man. And that time I know something's wrong. So I took off running. Down there, you know, they wasn't probably 50 yards from us. And uh, I just, man, and she was holding on to her sister for dear, for dear life, man. And something had her leg in the water. Just, and she was just trying to pull herself out of the water. So I grabbed her by a life jacket and pulled her up. And when I got on the dock, it's about a 20 pound flathead. I come up and grabbed her foot, just like that. And was holding on to it, man. He had her almost up to her knee. Her little legs wasn't that long. It's blow my mind. Well, when I got it on the dock, the fish let go, and it's sitting there flopping. And my little girl, <laughs> she run over there and she was stomping on that flathead. And I was like, "Ho, ho, ho!" Now we, you know, we don't want to hurt the fish. You know, it didn't know no better. She didn't understand, you know. But anyway, uh, it freaked everybody out, and it freaked me out a little bit. But it, it, it put a light bulb in my head, man. I thought, you know what? If that flathead ate her little stinking foot down in the water like that, I think it'd be a good, a good rig to fix up for for catfishing. So that's what I did. I ordered me some of little bitty kid shoes, little baby shoes, man, ain't, ain't big as your thumb. So put a rattle on it, that's a 50 pound leader. Got it beaded on the top and the bottom. And that's a 10 out uh, console lane circle hook. And uh, you know, you put your piece of skipjack on there, man, or you can stick your piece up in that shoe either one. And uh, like I said, they work well. I've caught some good fish on them. Uh, I use them mainly when I'm anchored. And I don't do a lot of anchor fishing, but I've been dragging them today. And, uh, you know, we've caught some fish uh, on this thing. So I, so I know they work, but I just want to let y'all know, man, people think I'm crazy because I'm, I'm fishing with a baby shoe on my line. But that's where that idea come about, and, and they do work. Uh, so if anybody tries to steal my idea, y'all don't buy them from them. Y'all get with me and get them from me. <laughs> I got any color you want. I got yellow. I got green. got blue. got pink. Uh, I got all kind of colors. Uh, I ain't marking them, I ain't not got them out for sale, but I do make them, uh, and can make them and sell them if somebody wants any of them. 
But uh, another thing too, next time you're out on the Tennessee River, you got your kids' feet hanging off the back of the boat or on a pier somewhere or another, or even your feet, think twice about it, man. You never know when that old big 100-pound catfish is going to come up and grab you by the leg and jerk you off in this river. So, I just wanted to run that by y'all, man, while I had a little time to talk, sitting here suspending. Uh, so like I said, I can't, I can't do a whole lot of talking when I'm when I'm dragging because things things just happen too fast. But I just want to let y'all know what 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 the, where the cat stumper came from, where it got its name, and why it came about. So there it is, cat stumper. All right, folks, we're finna we're finna run up run down the river right here, and I'm gonna check another spot out on the main ledge. And uh, see what we can do out there before this wind gets up too bad and uh, shuts us down. So I think the bite's over with uh, for the most part over here. But I'm gonna go check a little, a dirt, little different area. It's got some shell beds over and stuff and see what's going on. All right, folks, we, we sit back up dragging. I got these two out here on the drop in about 25 foot and then I got one in about where it comes up in about 15 to 18 foot and then I got one up in 12 to 14 foot on the very top up there oh uh, there's some shell shells down through here it's a shell bed it's just a another staging area for post spawn fish but like I said we're we're kind of past that point but uh since we're on the main ledge here and there's some shells there still may be some fish here uh probably up here feeding you know if they bite, they definitely feed. <laughs> Whole lot better conditions over here, man. So uh, the wind's still blowing hard, but I'm on closer to the south side, and it's blocking a lot of this, that strong wind. It's 8:30. It's uh get later in the morning. You know, the bite may have done died down because it was definitely early over there. I never got a a nibble over there on that suspended bite which that's usually something i do right at daylight uh that's usually when i do my best on suspended uh unless i find a you know a group of fish you know stacked up in the air or in a spot then i'll i'll sit on top of them you know because a lot of times you start a feeding frenzy that way but oh we got one on right here for oh 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 <clears throat> My goodness, I couldn't get it out of the pole hole. It feels like a good fish. Yeah, coming to the boat, that's always a good sign. Stay out of that other line, though. Yeah, that's a good fish. gonna be nice and come in on the side of the net so that's just awesome man that is just awesome quit that rolling now I don't like when they do that man that's how they throw the hook Another good fish. Come on up here. Quit digging. Quit digging. <laughs> Man, I'd like to lost that one. Or I'd like to come out. She's hooked. He cooked good though. What going to work? A lot of times they hang that hook. Man. They'll hang that hook on that net and then knock it out of their mouth. 
Woo. Another beast of a catfish, y'all. Woo. <laughs> I figured there'd be some here. We ain't drove five minutes here, man. Woo. Folks, I've hurt my shoulder on that first big one this morning. And it's my good shoulder. My left shoulder is bad from all the years of construction work. And now my right shoulder is bad from these recent years of catfish. <laughs> all right, folks, let me see if I can get this girl up without her hurt me, man. She, she ain't happy. Ow, 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 ow. Big old fat one, man. They all over the place, folks. Well, let me get her back, man. Don't stress them out anymore. She's gonna have to let go of my hand. <clears throat> <laughs> she, she liked to took my glove with her. I think that's what she wanted to do. <laughs> Right, man, that's exciting. That is exciting. That old cat stumper, man. Awesome little rig right there, folks. It'll show a flat catch them. Only thing, I just don't know if they're after the shoe or after the skipjack. <laughs> uh, next time I'm on this lake, first thing in the morning, right at daybreak, I'll check this up area up there here because like I said this uh, over there it was early morning bite and uh, probably the better bite was was here you know first thing this morning but we're doing good man I mean it's just a little after a little before nine and we done put a stumping on some cats I think I'm gonna have an early an early trip on this one I got to go catch some bait Oh, uh, I'm on. I got. I got the next two days. I can fish uh, tomorrow, and uh, I may fish Saturday. I don't know. I, I hate coming out in the summertime, man, with, with all the pleasure boaters. But uh, I may try to find me somewhere to fish Saturday. But I, I need to get me some more. Get me some more skipjack. Those are frozen. I've had them in the cooler for probably a couple months, but they're still good baits. Nothing wrong with them if you package them right. But I was gonna get me a couple fresh ones because I don't want to run out of what I got in the freezer, and I don't have many left. Uh, they're just for days like this when I randomly find a day I'm gonna be off work and I, just, you know, I don't have to go try to catch bait the morning of. I just grab me a pack and go. I only brought five. I ain't got many pieces of bait left. Uh, actually, that one right there come off a skipjack head I've been dragging around all morning. So, even though it's old, looks bad, you drag it in front of them, they'll eat it. Oh, God. There's another one, folks. Oh man, that one come off. Hey, gum it. Mm mm mm. <sighs> that was a big fish right there. Another big one. I just got hit on this one. I was kind of watching it and then this one man he took off I guarantee you this is a head and that's what cost me that fish yep I don't know how they do it man but they, they, they get that that head they grab a hold of that head in their mouth like that and it'll slip right out of there without getting a hook in them you know now if they grab it the right way that hook will get them but you never know how they got it. You can't get them all. <laughs> but it would be nice. All right, folks, I think I'm going to reel them in. And instead of, instead of trying to drag downstream, I don't think I can. The current's too strong. I think I'm going to run back down to that other buoy. And I'll get out a little deeper in the 20, 25 foot of water. And that way all my, my baits will be out in the zone where I've got 
the bigger fish bite. I'm gonna make one more drag before we go. We're gonna. Oh, there you go. That's a good one right there too. <laughs> Man, lie. What a morning. Yeah, that's a big old fee. Gonna come up back here, but that's a big one. I'm gonna have to slow this thing down. That hasn't done surface back there. I should have just kept on going. <laughs> I was rolling them up to turn around. This one took off. This one come up to the top back there because I hooked it over there in that shallow water. I'm sitting in 17 here. So it's probably about 12, 10, 12 foot over where I hung this one. That's why it come to the top like it did. That's a big fish, too. Come on, baby. Stay hooked up. I may need to just go ahead and call this one and get out of here while I'm ahead. Ain't nobody mess with me. I ain't seen no boats. So if I can get this one in, I may just go ahead and call it. They done wore me out, man. My right shoulder's killing me. My left one is my bad one. And my right one is uh, hurt me now where that big fish rolled on me this morning. <laughs> She's like, what in the world's got a hold to me? Currents are strong out here. Just keeping her up top. And she ain't liking it. Well, not one bit. I don't like her on top while I'm trying to get this net. She is doing everything she can do to throw that hook. She ain't as big as them other ones. She's a good fish. I, 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 don't you do that. Don't you do that. <clears throat> Man, I'm just so I don't know if I can pick this one up. And it ain't nowhere near as big as the other ones. But it's still a good one. I'm going to have to get me up. I'd get me a, a, a crane, folks, to pick these things up from my old tail. Whew. That's still a good fish right there, man. <laughs> so from fighting catfish or picking them up, that's not a bad problem to have. But when you get older, it definitely makes it harder to recover. Recovering from a good day of fishing, ain't that something? Usually it's the other way around. I have to recover from my bad days of fishing. <laughs> you see that head, that's an old head. I've been dragging that thing around all morning. That's the only other old head I had on there. 
All right, folks, let me see if I can pick this thing up, man. She's fixing to probably go crazy because she's been, she's been wanting to the whole time. She's been laying there. <clears throat> Don't do it. Don't do it. Another good quality fish right there, folks. Shallow water fish right there. Well, all right, she's wanting to tense up like she's going to try to slap me in the face, so I'm going to get her back. Thank you, old girl. Ow, ow, ow. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> I sure would like to drag through there one more time, but I tell you what, I just ain't got it in me. I'm scared I'm gonna start catching them again and end up uh, staying out here longer than I said I was. Like I said, I gotta go get some bait. Sometime today, and I got to get my grass cut sometime today if I can. It's been raining. I should have cut it two days ago, but it's been raining. Ain't had a ch ain't had a chance. I sure wasn't gonna cut it today. I was going fishing. Like I said, I, I I knew I know where they're where they're supposed to be. And the good thing about these fish is they're not gonna leave. The only problem I have out here is getting the conditions where I can fish it. Oh. Uh, just have to fish it on, on the good days when the weather cooperates. But I will take one more if they want to buy it. <laughs> like I said, it don't never get old. But it will wear you out. Oh, there you go. Yep, 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 yep. There he is. Well, he is going to give us one more. Ain't? I ain't gonna stop the trolling motor this time. I'm gonna let her keep going. That one come out of shallow water too. It's probably gonna come up back there. It don't feel as quite as big as the other one, but the other one didn't either. In that shallow water, they, they ain't got nowhere to go but up. Right, right, left, or up. Man, I hate when they do that. Looks like a good fish, though. I seen 12 inches of tail. Oh. I want to just hit that one too. Knocked it off the planer board. Oh man. Alright, there we go. That line was in front of my other planer board. It's hard to leave biting fish, folks, I'm telling you. If I didn't have stuff today to do and that's the main thing. I mean, I say I'm tired. I mean, I'm, I can handle it. I'll, I'll get over it, but I got stuff I need to do. And... Yep, yep, yep. All right, folks. My battery died on my camera. And uh, I got the fish to the boat. I'm still in the net. And I had a fish to knocked the crap out of that one so i thought man i gotta stop and get this stuff situated here and and then my mic my mic battery died so all right folks These fish are winter fat, man. They seem to come off of, they come off the nest and straight to eat. There we go. Old cat stumper done it again, folks. I got two other, I got my old style rig on my two of them. I ain't caught a fish on them. Here I am, got my, got a fish in the nest. Hooked up or not. No, he didn't hook up. <laughs> oh, me. I got my thumb, my wrist, my shoulder, my elbow. They got my whole body sore, folks. Alright, now you begin, okay? Big sisters and mamas have been 
ain't good today, you big hey, don't do it, don't do it. Nice little fish right there, folks. Be healthy, man. Healthy, healthy fish. Well, let me get her back. Hey, hey. No sense in that. No sense in that. She's mad because I fold her with an old flip flop. Right, you be careful now. Don't put your jerky thing out of my hand. That right there is what I'm fishing out here, folks. Anyway, shell bait. That's what all these fish are coming off of. They love some shells, man. The good thing is they won't never leave where I'm at right now this summer. And they really stack in here in the fall. Get one on back here. <laughs> yeah, I look folks. Hey. Get out of here. They won't let me leave. They won't let me leave. I don't even know how this one got hit because a fish knocked it off the planter a while ago. Feels like a good fish though. It's tangled up in that other board back there. That's all right. We can deal with it this late. Yeah, it is a good fish. My goodness. Ah. Oh, me. Oh, me. Hey, we got my net back here in the wrong place. fish it might be wrapped up in that other line i know it's wrapped up in it but i don't but it's still fighting i think it's wrapped up too bad so we're gonna slip down and all this slime in the boat Definitely right there is gonna see me how. <laughs> I wasn't expecting all that. I, w I don't even know how that fish hit, but bound to be. Oh, man. Ah. Another good fish. Damn. <laughs> what a mess. She's mad, folks. She's been wrapped up in that line. No, she ain't wrapped up. She wants back food. Oh, me. Let me get a better hold on her. There we go, folks. Another good quality blue. I don't know how that fish hit. Usually when your plane board pops off, it floats back to any line and picks your line up. We'd been back there five minutes and she still got it. Well, all right. That's going to be a good one end on right there, folks. Man, she is dropping chills like crazy. But well, let me get her back. We ain't gonna catch no another one. <laughs> I ain't even gonna say that because I ain't. I don't even want another. Ooh. All right.
All right. Well, all right, folks, I'm finna get this mess up. Get on out of here before I catch another one. Right there's what she just dropped out of her. That's what they're eating. Shell bass, folks. It's my favorite thing to fish up here. All right, folks, we're finna wrap this one up, man. Uh, get on out of here. I hate to leave biting fish because they still biting. But uh, that's a good one to end on right there, man. Like I said, that's a, it don't get much better than that. You know, come out here for three hours and have a morning like that. It's awesome. And like I said, I'm blessed to be able to find these fish. And like I said, now I can, I can stay on them. They're in their semi-summer state, you know, places where they live. And uh, they're not going to go far. But uh, I'm going to get this stuff up and get rolled out of here. And, uh, but I appreciate y'all taking time out of your day and night watching the video, man. Uh, riding along with me. Uh, I'll catch y'all on the next one. Y'all stay tuned for that one. God bless you.